Alrighty, chat. Thanks for sticking around. I do appreciate y'all being here, Matt. Are we are we bored? I'm sorry, Matt. I'm sorry. Uh, by the way, who will get the most? Oh, wow. Um, what was I gonna say? I took my whole break, and buddy just got up here. That's kind of insane. Three minutes to drive back to the field. Okay. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's get ba get back to it. And finish up the uh, sunflower harvest. Let's go. Hello. 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 So it took that whole time for the guy to just get to the repair point. Got a little forest map trip. There or something like that. We're almost done, huh? Almost. We're getting there. A great sunflower harvest, chat. Good. Back and forth we go. Uh, thanks for the welcome to the back, chat. Oh, I want to go get me a popcorn. All right. So for the record, we have a mo day tomorrow. I really hope the neighbor's laying out by the pool. If he is, it's going to take me so long to cut my grass tomorrow. It might. It might take me an hour. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Actually, do we have a chance of rain tonight? It says 0% chance of rain. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Leonard, by the way, um, adorable. I'll just say that much. He's watching the stream. Can you imagine if my neighbor does watch my streams? Because he's annoying Leonard and anything I can do to annoy the neighbor, I will, I will do. <laughs> you know, have I, I haven't here, Leonard, I'm going to send you a video. I think I can send it through Snapchat. Maybe by the way, I saved that Leonard to show my dad tomorrow for the record. Saved it in Snapchat. Actually, I don't know if I can pull that video. Because it's from my security camera. So it's technically not in my camera. Although it might be. Hang on. Hang on. Four or five hours. Could you imagine? Could you imagine taking four or five hours to cut your grass just to annoy your neighbor? Man. Welcome in, Raiders. What's poppin'? <laughs> An American flag speed in a soccer. Uh. All right, Leonard, I'm sending you a video through uh, Snapchat. Can't take any more. That's why, that's why I, I don't like that neighbor. <laughs> Please do, Matt. That would be, that would be great. Oh, goodness. Welcome in. How's it going? What's popping? And I Welcome back, Trent. <laughs> uh, for the record, I just sent Leonard a video of my neighbor and his granddaughter uh, walking through my Christmas display last year. And yes, I'm still a little bitter about it. So there's that. You know, there's a lot of tripping hazards and stuff. And, uh, you, well, first off, should stay off other people's property, first off. Second off, the tripping hazards. 
And third, you know, what are you teaching your granddaughter? Oh, it's okay to just walk on other people's, like, property and stuff? That's not good. Don't do that. But anyway, that's that's my three cents about the whole thing. It's just uh, very annoying, you know? But, yeah. That's, that's okay. It's all good. I... Probably what's going to happen, Kimmy, is I will have a conversation with him uh, at some point when I'm putting the lights out because he's always outside. So I'll just have a simple conversation with him. If he doesn't respect that, then we'll escalate it, you know. An electric fence. <laughs> An electric fence would be a good idea. Yeah, hot wire, yep. Stay off my lawn. Yeah. I'm not sure. No, Trent, that's not a thing anymore, dog. Oh. He had to put his dog. <laughs> Take a while back. Crash that one, then. Yeah. Hide spikes. I don't want to hurt anybody, guys. That's, that's not what I want to do. I just want him to stay out of my yard. Mine wasn't that uh, painful. Just <laughs> landmines, yeah. yeah. It would just smell. Hmm. It's, yep. Oh, well, same neighbor, yep. Same neighbor. Yep, he's also the guy that yells, yep, if we park in front of it, or park like two inches over the property line uh, onto his, in front of his house, right? Same neighbor. So, you know, he's Mr. Perfect, but yet walking through my Christmas display, it's like, no. Tiger pit with spikes. Oh, John, there's a weird pile of leaves in your front yard. Yeah, don't worry about it. I wouldn't step on it if I were you. Uh, not long term. Motion activated. Electric fence? No, if he moves the pile of leaves oh. or complains about it. No, there's just a 20-foot pit underneath the pile of leaves. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> sinkhole. Yeah, we had a sinkhole. <laughs> Hit him with a sprinkler, yeah. No, so yeah, last you, year... You get one of those in your yard. One of those deer repellent sprinklers that automatically turns on. Oh, haven't you seen the videos where people... Walk through that uh -huh. guy's yard and yep. it's motion activated. Yep. Yeah. Did that for him. Now, like I said, I'll have a conversation with him, and if he still wants to disrespect, then you know, then I guess we put up no trespassing signs. And if he disrespects those, then I guess we call the call the law. I don't know. Right. So about the motion activated sprinklers, he can fertilize your well, water your yard for you. But it's winter; they'll freeze. So, but yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of what I, where I see this. So have a conversation. If he still disrespects, then, you know, I don't want to be petty, but I have to put signs up that says like his first name, stay out of my lawn or stay off my lawn. I will do that. I know a sign company. They will make me signs. They're a good sign company. So, yeah. <clears throat> Take does the, the conversation go, does the conversation go? You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. No, the conversation probably starts with me holding my phone out and being like, hey, see this video uh, that I captured last year of you and your granddaughter walking in my Christmas lights? Uh, just so you know, that's completely inappropriate, and I would appreciate if you stay off the lawn during this year's Christmas display, and just in general, because he doesn't need to be walking in my yard at all, you know? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Put the signs up right after you talk to him, right? So there, there's that. That's probably the way the conversation, at least on my end, is going to go. Yeah. Barbed wire. Talk and then play sites. Yeah, play the videos, part of the display. Oh, my God. But what not to do. 
video Dude. place. Okay, I'll just put like a big TV in front of the, the living room window instead of having a Christmas tree, and it'll just play this like 12 second video on loop all all day, all night during Christmas. <laughs> oh, you need to put like a border and on top of the border, it's what not to do. Oh, God. <laughs> that would be hilarious. That would be absolutely uh, hilarious, though, to, uh... But yeah, just play the video on, on loop. Oh, oh hey, my green card finally caught to me. Don't be this guy. Like, I get his granddaughter was very excited about the lights. I understand that. I appreciate it. They're that's when you stand. That's when you stand on the curb or the sidewalk and you. Yeah, there's a boundary. Enjoy the lights. There's a boundary, you know. Don't, don't cross that boundary. And, and you know that's part of the reason. If somebody does exclamation point lights with modern VIP, uh, that's part of the reason I really like the arches that go in front of the display and up both sides because it actually really does stop people from crossing, but not him. So, but for most other people. Um, it actually does cross or like kind of stop people from from crossing. It's like a it's like a fence in a way. Not electric. Oh, it's well, it is electric. Like not like gonna hurt somebody electric. Is it electric? Well, we're supposed to give them a warning. Yeah. But anyway, it's uh, it's a whole thing. So. Got the last pass, or? Uh, I think we will have the last passes. Yeah, somebody's coming at me, but you can always come down here and, you know. Let's just harvest till we hit combines. Might as well. All right. Harvest till we hit combines. <laughs> yeah, you're about to run me over, okay. Got it. Motion activated glitter cannon. <laughs> now, actually, what I did last year, so the clip that I filmed that I sent Leonard before, right? I, I recorded that on my camera. I was watching him from a 360 camera that can, like, rotate and follow motion and stuff. Okay, so I was, I was at my sister's. He knew none of us were home. And so... That's why he did it. I, uh, I was watching him, and... After I recorded the clip, he started walking. He was walking from left to right in the clip. After he walked from right to left, going back towards his house, I I turned all the lights off because I can I can do that from my phone. So I just turned them off. And then like he got a little farther away, he's like, "Oh, come on, let's get going!" Like talking to his granddaughter. And then I played a siren on my one camera outside, <laughs> so like kind of to make him aware. But he still did it after that. Like that. I think that was filmed Christmas Eve. I know he was in the display uh, on Christmas as well. So. Some people won't respect but don't know how to give it, right? You're not wrong. Not wrong. Yeah, it's... After this field, John, I'm about to jump. I'll get bear. I'll get... It's, uh, it's just kind of unfortunate, you know? And this, this guy is Mr. Like... He moved into my neighborhood from a country club. You know, not saying anything bad about country club people, but, like, this neighborhood's not a country club. <laughs> you know? We're all kind of... We're all kind of rednecks here. And, uh... Wow, Matt. Just wow. Uh, you know, you should probably, like, check yourself, you know? Just saying. Very entitled, yes. Very, very, very entitled. Yeah. Yeah, the other day he had his one boat parked in the street so he could work on his other boat in his garage. His buddy owns two boats and a couple jet skis and a lake house, but yet the jet skis and the boats are always here because they never go to their lake house. That's the kind of guy this, this guy is, you know? That combine's hired? What? Uh, what? Uh, I guess. I don't know. Do I know who his dad is? I don't think his dad's alive still. 
I'm not sure. He is he is a bit of a yeah, go off, yeah. Hang out. Oh that was the last that did it. Alright. Yeah, I don't think I think his parents are gone. He's this guy's like retirement age. Um Yeah, he's he's like fifty five, fifty six, something like that. Maybe uh, he's not quite sixty, I don't think. Him and his wife both they're both retired though. Oh, it's an entitlement joke. Okay. I got you. Oh, I get it now. I get it. Okay. Do you know who my dad is? Yeah, okay. It makes sense. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> You're good, left. You're good. I was just confused to see it. That's all. You're good. Oh, yeah. He owns the dealership. Uh, well, you think with all that money, he could buy you some manners. How about that? Oh. <laughs> oh, man, it's all the orange stuff. Holy cow. What is that plow? Oh, it's a two bottom. Johnny, oh. it's, it's healed ready. Yeah, right. Oh, man. All for you. Yeah. Got to go to Minnesota to get it, right? He buys and sells people. Wow. You know, you can't see the auger wagons or the mother bed. He's just like driving blind over here. I don't know where anything is. All right. Now the real test is, can the combines make it back to the homestead on auto drive? I actually think the answer is yes. But I'm also not entirely sure. But that's okay. All right. That is one giant field for mankind. Wait. <laughs> one giant field of sunflowers done, y'all. That's awesome. That's the only place I want to go. That's pretty awesome. And that literally only took like an hour and a half. Roughly. Not a truck heading your way that they're just like t-bone that's fine new gpu and power supply acquired hopefully it didn't fry your uh motherboard too huh? hey, look at that road grader the wd road grader my goodness i would love to have that that'd be so nice for grading the lane just saying. Or the big road grader. I didn't even see that one at first. Those big road graders from Alice, they're kind of spendy still. I've looked into them, trust me. Oh, the, the construction ale one? Yeah. Yeah, they're kind of, kind of spendy a little bit. Yeah, Professor actually messaged me the other day saying that he was, you know, back in the Midwest visiting family, and he's like, I'm going to take a bunch of pictures and I'm going to send them to you. I was like, alright. I'm here for it. Definitely here for it. Oh, the old power supply was okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Get this up. Oh.
There's a lot of, a lot of orange. I'm here for it. Okie dokie. Do we have... Okay. Um, don't send any more equipment to the homestead until the trucks are done, because they're gonna probably clobber the trucks on the road. Just saying. I think that's our last parker wagon to empty, so that's good. Although that truck is full, so where's our other truck? Probably empty. Not empty. Okay. Okay. Take out this truck. Get this last little bit of sunflower, get this truck moving, then we can send all the tractors and wagons. Whatever else we got down here back to the homestead. Uh actually who's up in the homestead? Turner, are you up there? Me, bear and uh black cat. We catch the trucks and don't let them come back. Okay, I'll look out for them. Yeah. I'm gonna I even sent the double truck up. He's going to the compost. He's got a little bit on board. Alright, I'll I might snag him and start transporting stuff. He's got sunflowers on board too. He'll need to be uh emptied. Although here in a second, I can, I'll, I'll be free to come up there and get some of the stuff from going too crazy. Oh man. It's like quite a bear or whatever uh, professor is that, man. Lots of stuff. All right, mother Ben can stay. Uh, the conga line is in route. There's so much stuff going through the homestead right now. Yeah, there is. That's okay. Bear, we'll catch you later. Have a good one. Yep. See you guys. Yep. See you, Bear. Uh, 100,000 liters of sunflowers coming in. Gotta love it. Got, I got a minute here before anything else gets here, but there is, uh, what, five, six things on auto heading this way? Oh, man. All the things, y'all, all the things. Amazing how much you need, you know? Or how much we, we don't need, but how much we had. My day is going great. What's poppin'? Welcome in. You are on auto drive. You're all right. What's going on? I can't do that. I was going to move it with my hand, but if I do that, it's going to break servers. Okay, there's not far enough back. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, who else? Who's next? Go, 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 go. Somebody's are going to take a minute to uh, drive up here. That's okay. All right, I guess our next thing is uh, we got to knock that sugarcane field out. 
uh, real quick. I can run truck for that if you need. That's uh, fine, or auto. Either way is fine. Bring your double truck down. Don't worry about it yet, because we're not set up. John, what's going on? How are you? What's poppin'? John, you just missed Field 32 Sunflower Harvest. But you just got done with it, man. It was only about an hour and a half with five gun mines, though. So not, not too, uh, not too bad. Oh, you're on auto drive. I'm not. Oh, I thought you were driving it manually. I am. But you came in like it was auto drive, so I just. I'm a robot. What do you want? It? Well, we already know you're a bot, so. <laughs> uh, all right, Blackout, we get you. Recovering from the trip. Oh yeah, how was your uh, how was your big trip, uh, John? Was it? Oh. Uh, see if I drive in like that, then I don't have to turn around. You see. That was the. The thought process, you know. There's a lot of straw on the ground. Uh yeah. It's fine. Right where it is. Look all the money, Johnny. You know, actually, straw is worth like nothing. If you compost it, it's worth a lot. But exactly. But 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 our composter has millions in it, and it takes forever. So. Woke up today feeling kind of sick. That's not good, John. That's not good. You're not supposed to do that. Okay, X9, and that's it for the driving home. That's good. All right. So many orange tractors. Oh, even big ones, little ones, medium-sized ones, everything in between. Even a pedal, Alice Chalmers. Yeah, chat, if you guys want to see some Alice Chalmer pictures, I just made point Discord. Professor is posting the world of photos of, right now. One of those uh, articulated by me. Oh, is there? It doesn't run. No. That's sad. But it doesn't, I don't, I've never seen it around. And I got you. A little mossy. <laughs> It'll buff. It'll buff. And there's a Tony tractor on that main first picture there, John. What, the pedal? Pedal tractor? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I saw that. Oh, Tony tractor. A oh, family that you've never met before. Wow, John. That's good, man. All right. Combine's repaired. Uh, header didn't need it. Fully repaired already. Stop for a little bit of fuel. At least they don't have to come down to hurricane field empty. Oh, yeah. I am. Uh, I got hold a load of uh, some fires to the oil. Oh. Uh -huh. Wait. Need a different solution for our combined parking, don't we? We've outgrown it now with five combines. I mean, there is that shed I, right behind them. Yeah, that shed's kind of got a lot of stuff in it, though. We might, uh, we might take, like, part of, uh, we did this last time we played, but this, uh, plot 91 over here, we could buy that and put some sheds and stuff over there to divide and conquer the, uh, storage needs that we have, you know? Just saying. Probably wouldn't be a terrible idea. Alright. You got your double truck down there? Yep, I just arrived. Okay. A couple other trucks down there just to have. Never enough trucks. 
Mr. Underscore Professor 85 just resubscribed for 68 months. So many months. Seems like so little time. Mr. Professor, thank you so much for that resub. 67 months of tier 2. I do appreciate it. And thank you for all the pictures in Discord. Is this really in here without a dolly on it? It is. Professor, I will uh, go through them all later. It, it was it was fun watching them pop up. I'll tell you that much. But I will definitely have to glance through them all later. I wonder who did that. Uh, somebody was setting up double, triple, 42 trailers, probably. Oh, no. wasn't me. I think I have an idea who it was. That's good, John. That's good. Uh, have fun in Infinity. Hope you don't have any leaks. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, they are dropping like flies. It do be like that when Sugar King gets brought up, you know? Yeah, but the grapes, the non-grape guy is still in here. He's just waiting for that field. <laughs> right, Professor, right? I appreciate it, man. Appreciate you. Actually, a week from next Saturday, going to a, a, a tractor show, the one that we always go to. And their feature this year is Alice Chalmers. So if it's orange and on wheels, it'll probably be there. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. We harvested grapes at the start of the stream. Yep. Uh, we sure did. Fast thanks for the raid, man. How's it going? Welcome in. What's popping? Appreciate the raid. Well, then should we just, uh, course play this? Because we don't have... Yeah, we're going to have to course play this, so I don't need the dolly anyway. All right. All right, you're going to have to run a green cart, probably. Because, yeah. Is it just me and you now? I don't know what Left's doing, so... Yeah, I'll grab a green cart since non grape is, uh, AFK. Wait, did your... is your truck... what's your truck doing? <laughs> I haven't done them. Might have to lose the trailer on your truck. I'm not sure. I don't know if... I, can it empty in the homestead, actually, with the doubles? On auto? thought it did. Last time I tried it, I think it did. Wait, John, you took a road trip to Ohio? Why would he want to come here? I have no idea. It's better than Illinois. Well, he says something about his family. But all the way to Ohio from Cali? Holy cow. That's where his horse here going. But, no, I, but, I think he's going to turn around, I think. All right. Should I just... Water. I wonder what part of Ohio you went to. I think I know which part, but... I don't know. Pretty awesome. Did you come through on Highway 70? Because it... What the heck is that Harvester doing right now? No. Harvester, no. Know. Harvester. Harvester, no. Harvester. Harvester, yes. What are you doing? First waypoint, buddy. Oh, yeah, Professor, yeah. Somewhere from Iowa and Illinois. It could be then, yeah. I don't know what this harvester's doing. It's... Where is Buddy going? I don't know. He said to go to the first waypoint, but I don't think... I don't... He's trying to turn around in this little. 
And the little cut, he's like Austin powered himself in here. Go. 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 Mrs. Oh. Underscore oh. Professor just resubscribed for 53 months. This is, John. This is How's it going? Professor, thanks for the 53 about the resub. It's going great. How's it going? What's up? By Marble Head. All right, I'm just about to I'm about to do it. You know what? I might be able to hit you, Trent, from here. Do I have the Austin Powers it again? <laughs> well, I need to get back that way. My my first waypoint's behind you. Yeah. Okay, I'll yeah. try to get like closer. Just to come out. It's if I waste some, I waste some. I'm not, I'm not that worried about it anymore. I just need I need to turn around though. So just uh, hang tight there. I'll turn around. And then maybe... Maybe this thing will be happy after this. I doubt it. I don't know. Alright. Go. Uh, but anyway, welcome to both of the professors. Appreciate both three subs. I uh, hope y'all are doing well. I haven't seen y'all in a while, so I... You know, doing the whole thing. Um... We'll, we'll try this. I don't know how well this is going to work at the... Or I don't know how well this is going to, like... Get from the field to the homestead, but we'll try it. It probably is going to get stuck somewhere, if I had to guess. What else is new, right? What else is new? Probably going to get stuck in that... Compost there. If I had to guess. Is it me or is it always like shadowy in this field so it's always kind of dark? Very shadowy. All the time. Uh. Rust. Yeah, Professor, I got you. I got you. Oh, cool, yeah, buddy. So we're going to the farm show in two weeks, and then there's another farm show at the end of the month. And that's the one where they do, like, all the field demos. Basically, it's not really a show. It's more of a field demo day, but for old stuff. Uh, they're supposed to have 75-plus old articulated tractors. So we're talking big buds, John Deere's, like that kind of, you know, older stuff. Probably be some Alice's, some Ford's, Steiger's, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. Maybe old Versatiles, I don't know. Uh, but supposed to be like 75 plus. Big articulated tractors, pulling plows, cultivators, discs, yeah, whatever. Whatever they can hook to. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be something. Uh, they're also supposed to have the oldest John Deere combine known in existence and an X9 harvesting corn right next to each other. Which is just crazy to think about, you know? Oh, so, yeah. There might be some. I don't know. Oh, well, so we'll see. Uh, I'm I'm sure I'll end up taking some pictures and video and, and post them in Discord and uh, Instagram, but... Uh, you know, I'm there to enjoy the day. I'm not there to document the day. Other people are great at doing that, like Big Tractor Power. I'm sure he'll be there. Uh, he's really good at documenting what's going on there. That's I don't want to do that. So, two plus two. There, he does own a two plus two. The guy that uh, puts on the show, yeah, he sure does. It's a beautiful two plus two. Been restored, I think. Beautiful. Might be original. I'm not sure. I'll have to find out. Yeah, absolutely beautiful track. More than half the days in July were over 100 degrees. Holy cow, Mr. Professor. I won't complain about our heat that we had then. Because <laughs> in June and July, we've had a lot of heat as well out here. But not quite... 
more than half the days being over 100. That's tough. Uh, Trent, did you get that sorted out or what? Yep. Yeah. Back in a grain cart? Uh-huh. All right. Oh, I was like, I don't see you anywhere. Because you're right there. Okay. I got so it. it makes it like 98% through there. Uh-huh. If the truck was shorter, I think it could make it. Blaming it on my long chassis truck, are we? Hey, I I actually drive that truck. What if we just cut off auto drive to there and make it go somewhere else? It would probably work. All right, I'm here for it. I'll uh I'll disable auto drive because we're not hauling stuff in there anyway on auto drive. Plus, we usually manually drive this in and out yeah. of it. Plus, we can always just add a waypoint back later. It's not a not like it's hard to edit auto drive after all. Not at all. Jonathan Akajonic cheered X100. Is the server balked at 0%? Uh, John, I would assume if you're stuck at 0, then the answer is the server broke. Would be yes. Wow, um, the non grape guy's doing something. Unfortunately, John. Sorry. I apologize, but hey. Yeah. Oh, and John, we we definitely proved that it's not a mod issue, by the way. We proved it last night. Not a mod issue. We ran literally two mods, a map and a required mod for the map. And it's not anything we've ever run before, and we still had the issue. So, yeah. Mrs. Professor, no, we uh, we're doing the uh, we're doing a lot of different stuff on this on this map. Yeah. Don't think you got above eighty any single time in July. Oh well, so that must be nice. We actually have, uh, we have grapes, Mrs. Professor. Look at all these grapes. Oh yeah, we have grapes. We have, uh, I want to plant olives at some point. Um, we have sugar cane. We've grown sugar beet, potatoes, carrots. Uh, we're doing a bunch of factory stuff on this map. So anything for a factory. Except for maybe like red beets and parsnips. I don't know about that. But yeah, we're we're doing kind of all the all the things on this map. Not afraid of any of it, any of it. Now, like, granted, we shouldn't be harvesting sugarcane this way, and we have some odds to help us. That's okay. <laughs> odds never hurt. Odds never hurt. Okay. Oh so yeah, mods are definitely helping us out with the uh, with the whole thing, but uh, yeah, we're uh, we're doing doing great here. Oh, that guy's full, huh? Yep, he is one hundred percent. All right, I'd be curious to see where he goes. Hopefully he goes down across the bridge. I try to let you squeeze by. Oh. I was trying to unload. <laughs> I was seeing if that would work for... <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Hey, keep the harvester moving. Let's go. Uh, but yeah, he's, oh, he's going to turn around there. Okay. Better than Turn. Yeah. Compost. Yeah, he, I don't. Hopefully, he doesn't get stuck there. No. Oh, he's taking the milk. Milk point, maybe? You like PC mods? Don't think you'll be playing on Xbox anymore? Yeah. Uh, Shaggy, if you've recently joined the PC, like, yeah, you, you won't go back. Oh, yeah, he took the uh, milk cell point. 
Oh, sweet. That's that actually works out great though, because he doesn't get stuck. I like that. I like it, Picasso. If this works out, I might be able to keep you empty. Probably not. I don't know. It's. I mean, it worked. That worked out pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Twenty-four severe thunderstorm warnings right now on the east coast. All the storage. All the storage. But is Raptor Three actually real? <laughs> or is it just a figment of Elon's imagination right now? Guys. Yeah, it doesn't look so real, but hey, whatever. Ironically, SpaceX even tweeted it. Wow. Interesting. Won't be farms on my nice bus anymore. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you know, I was I was kind of an in between gamer. You know, I I was a console. I was a PC guy. Oh, sorry. Let's back up. I was a console guy, and then I was a PC guy, and then I was a console guy, and then, and then PC, and I don't look back anymore. I really, I really don't look back anymore. So, I'm surprised you're able to get back. But yeah, I just, I, I'm, I'm a PC gamer. Can somebody else take the storms? Don't want them in the east. Wow. Well, um, I don't know. Yeah, it's like stop rain for a week, maybe. Yeah, we've been we've been getting a lot of rain out here. So. A lot of rain. We, we need a rock and early night to pad. Yeah, Polar Bear, but some of the games you play, they're not on uh, uh, PC, right? A lot of your friends are on Xbox. I got you. I got you. You know, I... Yeah, Polar Bear, I got you. You think next year you're going to get a PC... Pizza, that's awesome, man. Yep, yep, Polar Bear, I knew that's where you were going with the sports games. I don't understand why they won't put them out on PC. I, I really don't get it. NHL, dude, I would play NHL once in a while. Probably not on stream. But, like, I'm not dusting off the Xbox to play it, you know? I'm just saying. Although I could. That's true, Polar Bear, yeah. That's true. Well, technically, what, it, do we know GTA 6, like, what consoles it's coming out on? It's only going to be, like, the refrigerator one, right? For uh, Xbox? Do mine didn't have more than uh, electronics in it. Yeah. Gotcha, Jeff. Okay. That could be, yeah. Uh... Alright, where's this guy going? Uh, looks like we're doing short rows first, Trent. Short rows first. I'm not picked on the X. I'm just asking. Uh, I stopped. Go ahead. Just go. Just go with him. With him. With him. I'm like full full. Oh yeah, you are. Yeah. We'll take all your rain. Yeah, Professor, the whole state's on fire again, isn't it? You do like some controlled burn or a lot. X less X. See, I don't. I'm at the point now with consoles where I don't even know what I have anymore. I don't. I have the one ref before the refrigerator. 
Whatever that is. That's what I got. I think that's the X. The S is the refrigerator one, right? I believe so. Yeah, I got both yeah. with that one. But with less electronics in it. Yeah. Yeah, you have the actual refrigerator one too, don't you? As a horizontal and vertical, but I can't play games on the vertical. Okay, so for the record, this does not empty at the homestead. But we can fix that, hopefully. Hopefully. Well, you know, it helps if we make it go here. I mean, it's empty and it's kind of awkward. All right. I was wondering where our trucks are at. That would be sitting in the homestead for 200, Trebek. Uh, but that's okay. All right. Two million acres burn this. Holy cow. X is the big fridge, S is the smaller version. So the S is like the lay down traditional looking console one, right? So then I guess I have an X or an S as in I Sam. Guess we both have the S. Yeah, S as in Sam. And the disc less version. S has. Mine has a CD drive. What do I? I don't know. I don't even know, man. Because I kind of want to play like, I oh, I, I literally own an NHL game. I think I played like twice. Same thing with uh, MLB the Show <laughs> up here. But it's like the size of your palm. What the heck? Is the drive-through speed? I love that everybody has a different analogy for what the console looks like. Xbox S. Either Xbox One or Xbox One S. So the thing is a paperweight, right? No, Sean, I haven't bought an Xbox in forever, bro. You think I have an Xbox? You know, give me a minute. I'm going to go look it up. I got mine right here. At least. Turbo Graphic 60. Yes. Uh, where is Amazon? Amazon, I need you. Amazon. Amazon, Am Am Amazon, we're searching uh, Xbox. X. There's a horizontal, no, no disc. Hold on. Amazon. It doesn't you show on my... Your console with you? It's behind my monitor. I can't reach it right now. I don't, it's not on my Amazon order history. So where did I buy it? That's fine. Did I buy it at Newegg maybe? I don't remember. Uh, best place to get this map would be type exclamation point Stevie in the chat and download it from his uh, YouTube videos about this map. He puts a uh, link in his description of his YouTube videos. We'll be okay now that we have our trucks actually coming back to us, by the way. That one was stuck in the homestead for a minute and kind of threw everything off chat. So thank you, Obelks. So go to his YouTube and search basically any of the videos uh, that have to do with this map, and there should be a link in the description. Or uh, download it from a Google Drive right right from Stevie. I actually don't mind the way he's harvesting, too, because that gives us open field to drive back to the uh, trucks. Oh, yeah. Don't mind it at all.
But it's all good. We got two trucks. We'll be good now. We will be good. So. Here's an S. So basically, my Xboxes are paperweight at this point, right? Is that what we're getting at? I wonder if my buddy Casey would sell me his Xbox. He was talking about selling it the other day when I talked to him. Wonder. Uh, thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? What happened? 360. Oh, man. I still have my 360. Although I don't... Like, me having an Xbox really doesn't make sense. Xbox One and Up is still supported. Yeah, it's supported, but, like... I like more than five frames when I play games, you know? <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm a bit of a frame snob these days being on PC, you know? All right. Excuse me, sorry. All right. Got it around nice to the bets. What's going on, man? How are we? <laughs> Goodness me. All right. But we should bring the mother bin up here, but like... We also shouldn't need the mother bin with three trucks, four trailers. We should be okay. In fact, I know we'll be okay. Although getting to that trailer is a little awkward, especially on this side, like I am. So. <laughs> Got in run. Everybody's been talking about that today. How hot it is everywhere, apparently. It's not that hot here today, though. I mean, it's warm. Don't get me wrong. Not that warm. Grant, what's going on? How are we? I'm just going to empty. Make that guy wait. We'll be okay. I mean, it's 92. feels like 99 outside right now. Oh, man. I got a bunch of rain to contend with next week. Oh, yeah? Well, where I'm delivering to. Well, it's supposed to be a high of 76. Let's go. Now the trucks are in the way of the forge harvester. Well, one guy should move. He's above 85. Yeah. I think they're set to 100. There's that guy. 85 feels like a... Oh. How much humidity do you have, Polar Bear? Good lord. That's, that's, a, that's a bit excessive. Just saying. AC in the truck is out. That's tough. That's tough. 102 feels like 105. Wow. Uh, we're right back. All right. I didn't know there was a tropical thing about to hit Florida. Interesting. So everybody's talking about the heats in like in like Nebraska, North or South Dakota, Oklahoma, Texas. I mean Florida, obviously, but you know, and then like out west, right? <laughs> I swear it's hot. <laughs> kind of interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be a little warmer here. That'll be fun because we got to do a full mow day tomorrow. Oh, did he really just leave that much of a skipper right there? That's tough. That's tough. For no reason, too. Alright, 
that. Well, I hope it gets cooler for everybody that's dealing with the heat, you know, one of these days. Hope your ACs, you know, keep working and yeah. You want know the weather he had in June back? I don't. <laughs> June was miserable here <laughs> for a lot of it. Oh, uh, like the day we installed the AC, it was it was like a hundred and eleven or something heat index. Yeah. Uh, polar bear, we take care of the weeds on first growth state. Basically, so plants, fast time of day, and then the weeds will grow. That's when we take care of them, usually. And snow. It's only 7%, Mrs. Professor. Holy cow. Hang on. When do, I don't even know what it is right now for me. All right, what is it officially? Come on. Uh, 45% here, and that's actually kind of low. It was like 65, 70% Wednesday. Wednesday was really bad here. Yeah, Wednesday's yeah, Wednesday was awful. But yeah, forty five percent's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh Mrs. Professor, I I so that other one was just starting to have some little issues and the biggest thing was it just wasn't keep it up. And you know, like last summer I had to miss a couple streams because of the heat. And I don't want to do that. So I did. I did. Under it feels like 110, 40%, which isn't better for Houston. No, for Houston, yeah, you're on the water. Uh so I did find I found a mini split actually. After many, 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 many hours of researching, I found a mini split that works within my power uh restraints that i have and actually it, it works it's great it, it sips the electricity um i actually ran the numbers on it last night for the whole month of july it only cost about 33 bucks to run for the whole month and you know it was 100 degrees at least a few times in july and uh like, even right now, there's a slight chill in the air in this room I'm in. It's probably about 68 degrees in this room right now. Like, it, I keep it turned down nice and low now, and I'm very comfortable. And, uh, it, you know, it fits within my power constraints that I have. So, it's, uh, it's a great unit, uh, this new one. Uh, the old one, we actually took to the farm, Mrs. Professor, and it's running in the shop down there. And it doesn't keep up or anything, but... It knocks a little bit of the humidity, and if you're coming in from outside and you need to take a break, it's actually really nice to have a little bit of cool air. It's not, it's not great, and it's not, it's not enough to like, ah, oh, it's cool in here, but it's like, it just takes that edge off, you know. So, like, Dad's down there today, and I know he's going to be working in the shop, so I know he has it on. Uh, so he won't be anywhere near as hot as being outside, you know. So it's, it's good. I'm trying to convince him to like let me buy a mini split for the farm so we actually have some like better like real air conditioning down there too. So. Yeah, it works it works great. So the other unit was good for uh the time that I had it, but it's just I think it's a little low on Freon, it had, must have a little leak. Um plus, you know, with the age of it, I've had the thing for I don't know a few years i was terrified of it going out you know if it goes out then i don't care if it's like 70 degrees i can't stream because it'll be so hot in here and uh so yeah i just went ahead and went ahead and made it happen you know 
and it was completely DIY and I don't I didn't have to uh I didn't have to uh have an HVAC guy do it or anything. It it came pre charged. Yeah. A waste You think I've had it since 2018? I actually got it at 19. Pretty sure I got it at 19. It could have been 18. I think it was 19. Though. Yeah. Pretty sure it was 19. I, I could be wrong. It was one of them years. <laughs> it was one of them years. But yeah. Yeah, Professor, exactly. Professor, I posted a video on Instagram the other day. I don't know if you saw it, but it was a, it was literally a stream of water coming out of a half-inch pipe that comes out of that air conditioner, the old one. Out of the... Because the, the, the air at the farm is so humid. It was literally a stream of water running into a bucket. It's insane how much water that thing puts out, even though it's not working at its peak performance anymore. Um, it's wild, honestly. It really is wild how much water that thing produces. You got some bales again? Yeah, see, you guys, the bales, you get them back pretty fast, I'm telling y'all. You get them back pretty fast. But yeah, it's, it's <laughs> amazing that that old unit is still, still doing anything. Yeah. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah. In the last 58 months, because you're pretty sure you were subbed. I bet, I think you were subbed, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That's funny, Professor. That's funny. Yeah, I didn't realize, I mean, and maybe these were a thing back when I, when I got the other unit. I just didn't know, but like, it's it's what they call a DC uh, inverter uh, mini split, so it runs on DC, and it runs like pretty darn efficient. So yeah, did see. It. All right, you did see it. Yeah, it's in it's incredible how much air that or water that thing. Yeah. You expect your bales to be there on Friday, Kimmy? We'll see. They weren't cheap or popular like they are now. Okay. I wouldn't say cheap. At least the one I went with was not cheap. Uh, but, you know, you pay for the DIY part of it, too. You know, the pre-charge line set and everything. So... And, and the best part, it has an app and I can control it with my phone. So when we're on the, like, if I'm out and we're on our way home, I, I can turn the air on before I get home. So it can be nice and chill in here when I get home. So, yeah. Uh, it's Farm Sim 22. Gun and run. I didn't even know that was a command anymore. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, 22. Prices come down with more companies are in the market. Yeah. Run around, you're good. I just didn't know it was coming. <laughs> Pretty awesome. But yeah, we, uh, yeah, like I said, I did a lot of research and, and, you know, a lot of the websites for some reason, they don't tell you exact like power consumption. Like, what is the maximum power consumption of this particular, you know, unit and stuff? And it took a while to find a website that actually had, like, all the information. And it's like, here it is. And it's like, well, okay. All right. I'm here for it. So I think max power consumption on the one I have is, like, 1,200 watts. 
and I have not seen it actually hit 1200 watts yet. So, I, I've seen about maybe 1100, but I haven't seen it crank all the way up to 12. Your double trailer to end up again, so you don't have any trucks coming. Uh, right. Uh, do you fix it or no? No, I haven't touched it. I know the solution. Get rid of the double trailers? Get rid of the stupid double trailer. That is by far the solution here, yes. <laughs> oh, man. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, Mr. Professor, it's really cool to have the app, yeah. I really, I really like that part. You know, and it doesn't take very long to, like, chill this room down. Like, the day that we... The day that we actually installed the thing, it was super, super hot. And when we turned it on for the first time, it was 98 degrees in this room. All right, 98 degrees in here. And within about 15, 20 minutes, it wasn't cool in here. But you could, there was a very noticeable difference between in here and outside. So it was, it was super, super like impressive that first day. Although the first day is still the day I use, I've used the most electricity on the thing since I've had it was that very first day. Which I thought was kind of uh, kind of funny, personally. Uh, but yeah, that's that is by far the highest consumption day that we've had yet. But you know, thirty three bucks to run the thing for a whole month in July when it's super hot—that's nothing. That's nothing. So I'm very happy with it. I, I talk about it enough that like people have started a drinking game with it as much as I talk about it, but. It's it's a good thing going, and I just I really uh, I really like it. So, here we go. Oh yeah. It's all good. Somebody told you you're not having your house at 66 all year round. I mean, hey, it's your thermostat. You set it to what you want. The way I see it. Hey, in fairness, Mrs. Professor asked a question, okay? I mean, I might have mentioned it. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I'm back. Welcome back. Surprised to see that he's on a tr tractor. Oh. The uh, double truck has been taken apart because it does not work. For the record. But I was out of my tractor too. Yeah, 102, so yeah, that's true. Uh, got to run, yeah. yeah. That's very true. And hey, if you're the one paying the electric bill, then you can do whatever you want with that thermostat, right? Yeah. Do whatever you want with that thermostat. You know, the old the old uh, system, I had to go outside to turn it on, off, or adjust it, whatever. The new one, I don't have to. I can stay in here or just use the app, too. So, like, last night, I turned it off, and then I was still out here for a while. And that that's a good uh, trick to, like, help me go to bed is, is just turn the air off because it gets hot in here. I'm like, man, I don't want to be out here anymore. I should have my air turn off automatically every night at a certain time. That would probably help me go to bed. <laughs> Every night at midnight, just air conditioning turns off. 
That's actually not a bad idea. I can do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's actually a good idea. That'll force me to leave the computer. It's too hot out here. Although that one night, I forget what was, what was I playing? I was playing something and I did the thing where I'm like, okay, I'm going to turn my ear off and I'll be on the computer like another 10 minutes. It was like two hours, three hours later. I was still, I was just sitting here sweating, playing whatever game it was. I forget what it was. Yeah. Like, well, I'd have been captain of industry. Not sure. Turn it back on. No. Wow, Kimmy, this wow. I'm sure you are. Oh man, we're just driving it all the crop. Don't find me. Wait, that explains the, the mowing of the grass last night, Kimmy. Did I talk about my AC last night? Okay. It all makes sense now. Get a pull out bed, right? I've thought about a couch behind me. I've thought about it. Uh, Snow, so we are on uh, Elm Creek today. We're, we're doing the other map on Fridays and Fridays only for now. So, yeah, we're on Elm today. I don't know what we're playing Monday, chat. Let's figure something out. Not sure yet. I don't snow. All good, snow, all good. <laughs> Sugar cane yields a ton. Uh, about 1.5 million off this field, uh, Brent. Lego fork knife. We could play that Monday. Yeah, we could play that. Jump back into that. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, this field, it, and you know, this is like our seventh harvest or something. You know, even though the game claims it only regrows three times, this is like our seventh. It, it might be a Stevie map thing. Oh, I never thought about that. Dang it, now you're going to make me go play another, or like a regular. Do it on your uh, Friday. Friday. Well, that's modded too, though. I need to play a base game. Map. Well... I it could be just a Stevie thing that you can harvest it. Mm-hmm. It's Friday. Friday. You got three mil, give me while two point seven. That's it. That's, that's a fair bit. That's a fair bit. Gonna get down on Friday. Right. Did you run out of jobs to do left? Is everything chored? What? All the chores are done. But you're in sugar. You're doing sugarcane. Uh, cows are topped off. Chickens are pretty full. Actually, I need to run water. No, no, you got grain cart. You run water. That's nice, fine. We get. Yeah. This is mainly for um. Trying to get done. Where are you uh, going, Trent? All right. Uh, the grapes are uh, great. We got three, uh, almost three full uh, of our straight truck uh, loads off the harvest. We harvested them earlier today. So they're good to go for uh, for right now. We will have to prune them at some point this fall. Uh, once they uh, once they turn, we'll have to do some pruning. But other than that, they are uh, they're good. They're good. We figured. I figured out the course play can do pretty much all the grape art, grape work. So, grapes aren't nearly as bad as people make them out to be. Which, if you have course play, if you have course play on your side. They're not bad at all. But yeah, not too this bad. Guy's leaving all the skippers. He, every time he gets to this end, he leaves the skipper. I don't really get it. 
But yeah, he definitely is all about the skippers. I think he's trying to like troll Kimmy, honestly. I think that's what it is. But that's okay. It's all good. All good. Oh, actually, speaking of Alice Chalmers, we weren't, but um, there we go. I gotta check that one that Big Al sent me. It's a uh, auction for an Alice Chalmers. Ends in five more days. And it's up to 920 bucks, which is actually pretty reasonable still for that tractor. To be honest, the tires that are on it are worth more than more than that. So. Yeah. Definitely not, yeah. Definitely not. But it's all good. It, I mostly did the the, uh, the grape stuff earlier with uh, course play. I didn't really have to interfere, but a couple times. For some reason the harvester got stuck on the vines a couple times, but that's it. Oh, it's uh, it's just you know my dream tractor, Professor a WD, an Alice WD, arrow front end. You know, just, just my dream tractor. That's all. <laughs> oh, man. Yep, the map of our uh, viewers right now is going to be on Fridays. Um, except for when we do our ATS stream. Uh, which will be the 23rd this month. Yeah, ATS the 23rd i might do two streams that day on the 23rd like start kind of early stream for a couple hours on the farm sim map and then take like stop everything stop stream and then switch over to uh, ats for the for the night stream what i'm kind of thinking that day but that's that's a little, a little ways off yet but yeah for the for the map with the queue to join uh that will be fridays basically Unless it becomes, like, really popular and then we want to, like, you know, add some more stream time. But right now we're going to do Fridays. So, yeah. You think he's tough? Yeah, so, Professor, the WD is my go-to because that's what Grandpa had. Grandpa had a WD. Um, yeah, and I've always wanted... I, I've have, I have a model WD from when I was a kid. Yeah, you know, diecast, whatever you want to call it. it. It's on a shelf in my bedroom still, like to this day. It's all beat up because I played with it when I was a kid. Like the got mufflers kind of messed up, the front grill stickers messed up, but like, you know, it has character. It has a lot of memories, you know. I used, or we should, it should still be in the house somewhere, but we had a one row tow behind corn picker for it. I would pull that around in a wagon. I would, I would, yeah, I remember playing with that here at the house. Actually over at grandpa's too. I got all the old farm toys that were at grandpa's. I haven't seen them in years. I should dig them out one of these days. Yeah. How do we communicate with others? Um, so if people wanted to join TeamSpeak, they're more than welcome. Um, but basically, they still need to have an ear to stream. It's just probably the easiest way. I don't like people typing in the game uh, in farm sim. I, I don't like that at all. Uh, waiting for Shranner left to say something in the game now, just to be a troll. Um, but uh, yeah, just have an ear to stream. You know, if you put stream on your phone or whatever, you know. There it is. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, that, that works out. Uh, it works out. So, yeah. 
it worked out uh it worked out fairly well last night i don't know that you know we talked about like maybe doing like a time limit thing like oh you've been farming for an hour like let somebody else have a turn but like there weren't that many people interested last night so um you know it was good it worked out and I'm sure some things will have to, you know, tweak uh, a little bit here and there, but for the most part, it was fun and uh, worked out uh, worked out fairly well last night. What was that? Uh, a little bit of story that I had to empty out to get water. Oh. Well, I've got bored of. Uh... I don't know. It's good. Fine. I just didn't know we had anything to sell, but slurry. That's that's good. That's good. Actually, did the milk truck ever get restarted? I don't think there's enough for a full load. Okay. Farming or bingo with grandma. Gotcha. Well, that's more important than farming. So, just saying. Way more important. There's one for sale. Oh, man. I did, Kimmy. Yeah, it was terrifying. <laughs> Joking. Joking. But yeah. Yeah, so, like, you know, buying the uh, Alice B and the, the C and then getting the CA, those were all just kind of, like, opportunity, like, Especially the B, it kind of fell into my lap, and the CA. I mean, the CA I paid like you know, forty bucks for technically. <laughs> I know a guy that probably gave me at least five hundred bucks for it too, maybe more, because it's got one like brand new tire on it. There's a, he's kind of a local guy, but he's like all about Alice, and he, um, he actually buys them and parts them out. Um, a little bit. He doesn't go too crazy with the parting out, but he he does he does part them out a little bit. So, uh, which is kind of cool. Sells sells parts online, but he definitely knows what stuff's worth. And uh, he was at an auction we were at a while back, and he would he would bid on stuff just to run guys up. So he's maybe not the best guy, but. He's like, oh, that tractor's worth an extra 50 bucks. And he'd, he'd bid him up. Yeah, all right now. But that's all right. You'll have that. Steph, what the heck was that move? <laughs> that's a big uh, skipper. It'd take me a while to kill all that. <laughs> <laughs> Give me, you don't see this. You don't see this. No, I'll be playing. 